Just got finished over on the other site going live and I am here to share the ads with you um, today so we can go over what kind of things I would buy um, at the stores that I shop at. I usually do Aldi and Vons or Safeway and I'll share the deals that they have going on this week and hopefully they're similar in your area. And uh, we'll talk about what I'm gonna buy, what I've got planned, what I plan to make with those things. And um, yeah, let's talk about the budget. So I usually have a budget of $50 a week these days. It used to be $100 a week, um, but recently we um, decided to go ahead and um, minimize the budget a little bit more. <laughs> so that way we can um, take advantage of some of the other fun things we wanna do. Um, so $50 a week is my usual thing. And I usually post um, my full haul every single week so you can see how much I spent and what the prices actually look like at the store. So I wanna talk about what we've got going on this week. These ones start tomorrow in my area. So at Aldi, I see some really good deals on strawberries. They're $1.49 a pound. Plus they have giant seedless watermelons for $3.49 each. And then some of the flap steak for $4.99. And these ones are the ones that they're showing as like the best deals. But I did notice that they have $1.89 a pound for the chicken breast here, the family pack. So that is something I would definitely take advantage of. Limit two on the packs. So definitely keep that in mind because you can buy this in bulk you know, at this price and then separate them into whatever portion you like. I usually just do one breast, um, you know, per meal. We try not to use a ton of meat, just a little bit as a garnish. That's one way that we save money is we don't usually make the meat the focus of the meal. Um, we try to add things like lentils and beans and other things that have protein in with the meat. So um, this is a great deal though. So you could even just, you could freeze it in one or two chicken breast portions or whatever you want to do and just get the limit. And they also have $1.99 for 73% um, lean ground beef. That's a very fatty um, ground beef. So just be aware that it would be good for things like burgers, but I would still get that. Um, it's a great deal, $1.99 a pound. And they also have $2.29 for the pork spare ribs, $2.99 a pound. And one of my favorites, $1.19 for spinach. So that one would be great. You could get some um, chicken and make some chicken um, salads or... You can put that on your burgers this week. And they've also got 29 cent Serrano peppers for an eight ounce package, 79 cent baby carrots, and the kiwis are 3.69 for two pounds. So lots of great deals this week at Aldi. They also have $1.49 for sliced cheese, which is pretty much unheard of at other stores. So you could have burgers for really cheap um, for July 4th. So you can get your ground beef, you can get your you know sliced cheese, and they always have really good deals on buns too like less than $2 for buns. So you could definitely get away with having a really inexpensive um, barbecue. And they have great chips for $1.99. These ones are some of our favorite. They're the um, pickle ranch. And uh, they also have regular like wavy chips like for dipping for $1.99 um, a bag. And you really can't find any better deal on chips. So if you're having a party and you wanna do chips or chips and dip, that's a great deal. Plus they have some jumbo franks for $1.39 as you can see up here and just a lot of really great deals. And if you like grass-fed beef too, they also have a deal, $3.99, and that's on the $85.15 for the grass-fed organic beef, ground beef. So that's a really good deal. It's normally $5.69 a pound. So definitely um, they're helping you out for your barbecue. <laughs> they also have s'mores deals down here. So that's great, $1.49 for graham crackers, $1.39 for chocolate, 98 cents for marshmallows. And they also have, this is a shortcut, they have $1.95 for these cookies that have chocolate on them. You can just buy this with the marshmallows and make a really easy, less mess um, s'more. So you just roast your marshmallows and put it in between the cookies. That's a little hack for you if you wanna spend less because um, then you don't need to buy the graham crackers and the chocolate separate. So you're saving like, you know, a little bit of money. So only like 40 cents. So it really just depends <laughs> what you wanna do there. Um, but you can use your favorite cookie, you know? And then on the... Um, on the reverse side, oh look at they do have, I didn't notice this before, but they have like the um, like drumsticks lookalikes so to $4.89. That would be delicious for a barbecue. They have some really fun summer goodies coming out in their value aisle. They have a really great deal on the umbrella, this cute little pink umbrella. I wonder if they have other colors, but $39.99. I'll show you too when I go in. I look at the value aisle too. So if I see different colors, I'll show you when I go. Um, Lots of summer things for outdoor eating. They've got a cooler, some outdoor um, accessories and decor, you know, some things for the kitchen. 
and then some um, organization and food storage down here. So this is just a little sneak peek, but they're gonna have a ton of great stuff. I feel like they're gonna have a lot of summer goodies. So um, I'll let you know this week, either, I think it's on Thursday, I post the, um, the Aldi aisle for you and uh, my entire shopping haul. So Vons and Albertson slash Safeway is next. So we're gonna talk about this. It's funny because they like to run a lot of the same or similar deals as Aldi here in this area. So you can see that they've got $1.94 a pound for chicken breasts here. So it's $1.89 at Aldi. Uh oh, are you okay? No. What's wrong? Uh, ice. You, you need ice? Or you're cold? Sorry, hold on a second. Are you cold? Do you need a blanket? No? Let me help. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got my son all situated. He finished his breakfast. He wants a cookie. All right. So anyway, $1.94 a pound for chicken breasts. So again, it's better deal over at Aldi. They also have $2.94 a pound for 80-20 ground beef. Again, um, a similar ground beef is better at Aldi, although this one is not as fatty. So that's something to think about. So still a good deal. But the things that I don't think are a great deal at Vons and Albertsons, which they always seem to mention, um, as like a great deal, but I don't agree <laughs> because they have buy two, get one free on like the pre-cut melons. So it's $5.99 per package. It'll say save up to $5.99. So that means you're spending $12 on three small containers of cut up fruit where you can buy an entire watermelon at Aldi right now for $3.49. So that's going to give you like four containers of uh, watermelon at least for $3.49 instead of $12. So even if you buy like a cantaloupe at full price, it's like $3, still gonna be cheaper than um, spending $5.99 for one package. <laughs> so I don't think that's a good deal. I understand convenience, but I mean, it really only takes a couple minutes to slice up melon. I have some great tips and tricks on my channel on how to slice the melon super easily just for this purpose. So you can check that out and see. It really only takes me like five minutes to do, um, you know, a giant watermelon. So definitely recommend that. And then this one, buy two, get one free on the um, strawberries. So they're $3.99 a package. So again, you're spending um, $12, right? You get to save $3.99. So how much is that? $8. So you're spending $8 on three packages, whereas you could spend $4.50 on three packages over at Aldi. So that's like half price. So definitely want to take a look at like, what does it mean buy two, get one free? Um, doesn't really mean anything if the price is just, astronomical. So I do see though that they have 34 cents for the corn and 94 cents for sweet baby rays or um, bushes baked beans. So those are some good deals right there. So I would probably take advantage of that and then $1.94 for water bottles. So that's a 24 pack. And the only other thing I saw on here was their, their Friday frenzy. So if you're going to a party and you wanna bring Oreos, they have two for five. This is only on Friday. So two for five, but you do have to buy two. And then they have the Doritos, two for five, so it's 2 dollars each, but you could buy a very similar chip that tastes amazing from Aldi for $1.99 anyway, and you don't have to buy two. Then they have the um, macaroni salad, potato salad for $3, $3 a pound on cherries. Then they've got some steaks and things like that for $5 and um, some shrimp for $6 a pound. So they do have some good deals, but that's only on Friday, and sometimes they have deals on Starbucks on that on Friday too. Um, I also wanted to show you what I'm gonna be buying. So um, this is my little food journal. This is how I stay on budget. I use my little food journal book, and this is where I write down my grocery list, what I'm making for the week, 
I also um, have inventory sheets in the front so I can keep track of what's at the bottom of my freezer, which I always forget so I don't double buy anything at all. And I have notes pages on the back. This is available on Amazon too if you want. I always forget to put a link in the description. After I post this, I'll put a link for you. Um, and it should be less than $10 and it should last about a year. Um, I put 52 pages of these in here. And I just made it for me because I couldn't find anything affordable that I wanted. So I just made it for me and just posted it on Amazon so you can grab it. I don't make much if you buy it, but it's a very useful tool. But if you don't want to buy it, you can just use a piece of paper. That's totally fine. Just remember, take a picture of your list before you go to the store because often if it's on a piece of paper, I just forget you know, where that paper was. Um, so that's why I like having the book because I just put this in my backpack and then I have it for me. So what I do is I write down what I'm gonna get and the price I expect to pay. So that way when I get to the store, I can see if it's the right product. Um, if it was supposed to be on sale, I can see that on here. And then I, once I get to the store and I actually pick it up, I'll write the price I'm actually gonna pay and circle it. And then I'll add it all up on my calculator before I get to the um, checkout so I can see, do I have a little bit extra in my budget? Can I grab one more thing, maybe a snack? Um, usually that's how it ends up being because online the prices are always a little bit higher than what they are in store. So I might end up saving like $2 and I'm like, ooh, enough to grab um, a bag of chips as a treat, you know? So this time I am gonna be taking advantage of the chicken breast deal because it's too good of a deal, but I'm not gonna be cooking with that at all for the next couple weeks. So I'm just gonna buy it. I'm gonna use my food saver and separate it into like one pound portions and I'll freeze it. Cause I definitely, that's one way that I save money big time is I don't buy meat as I need it. I never go to the store and buy a ground beef for $5.99 a pound, never. If I see that it goes on sale for $1.99, I buy the limit, the absolute limit and separate it when I get home. And um, you could even ask them to separate it for you at the deli, they will do that. So if you hate separating meat, they'll do it for you. You just have to vacuum seal it when you get home. Like empty it into one of those bags, you know? So I do have a plan. I'm gonna be buying $75 in groceries for the next two weeks and um, cooking two weeks worth of meals with $75. That's my next um, budget meal plan that I will be doing. So it should be ready for you in a few weeks because I am gonna try to um, write down the recipes and edit as I'm going. So every single day I make the recipe, I'm gonna edit it so that way I can have it up faster for you. And um, I'm thinking outside the box, I'm gonna be making a lot of things from scratch, but in an easy way. So I did just find like a really great recipe for bagels that uses Greek yogurt and flour. Um, I don't have self-rising flour, so I just used flour and baking powder and made bagels just like that with just those three ingredients. And it turned out really good and I've never thought to do that. Plus, I just made like homemade jam, which I've never done in my life and I didn't know it was so easy. Um, we were making some hand pies, blueberry hand pies and it called for jam. And I was like, well, I don't wanna use, you know, the strawberry I have on hand, I wanna use blueberry. So I just made it and I didn't realize it was so easy. I just, I didn't use pectin, I don't ever have any of that on hand. So I just used blueberries, it was two cups of blueberries, three quarter cup of sugar and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. And I put that in a pot, boiled it for about 10 minutes. Once the thermometer said 220 degrees, then I took it off, just let it rest for like 10 minutes and it was like perfect. It's absolutely delicious. So <laughs> I was surprised. Um, I'm learning how to make a lot of things from scratch these days with less ingredients. So I will be sharing some of those things with you on this plan too. Um, if you have questions and things like that, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm not super familiar with how to do the comments here on a live on YouTube, um, but they should be showing up for me <laughs> if you have them. But if you're watching this later, um, feel free to ask questions or make some suggestions for budget-friendly meals. I'm always looking for more suggestions and more ideas um, because sometimes I get stuck in a rut and I like make the same things over and over again. But I'm trying to think outside the box with this one. So I will be using some things with like rice and beans, but that's not gonna be my whole focus. Although I, I am gonna be buying some dry beans and doing some interesting things with those. So I'm interested to show you like what kind of things I can do and the versatility that I'm gonna show you instead of like just cooking it and serving it. So um, I'm excited, it's gonna be a lot of work and I'm hoping to um, be able to really perfect some of these recipes and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some, um, like copycat recipes from fast food places. So it's, it's gonna be fun. Um, that was my husband's idea. He said that people at his work were mentioning like, oh, she should do one of those, that might be fun. So now I wanted to include it on this. So um, I try to listen to people's feedback. You know, if they think something's a good idea, I usually try to do that. So if you have questions, leave them for me. Um, don't forget, we'll I can, we need some water? No, stop. Milk? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, <laughs> let me get you some milk, buddy. I have to look for your cup. And don't forget, um, all of my links are in my link tree for you, in my about section, in every description of every video that I post, I have my link tree. So if you need to find my blog or one of my affiliates or any of the links on things I recommend or my meal planning journal, everything is there for you. All my other social media sites, um, I usually do Facebook a lot, but all of my other sites are there. So if you need to find um, a link, it's in there for you. Also, I can help you plan your next Disney trip too to Disneyland, Disney World, Disney Cruises. They just released all of the um, fall and winter itineraries for the Disney Cruises. So if you've ever wanted to do like Halloween on the high seas or a very merry time cruise, um, we can secure that for you. I can help you plan it. Hold on one second. My son wants some milk. You want milk? This one? Yeah. This one is open though. No, no, no. You want this one? Uh huh. Okay. Look, I need to get you your cup though. It's in the car. Let me, let me grab no. it. No, you do. You want to get the blue one? All right. Okay, go sit down, honey. Oh, quick. Go sit down. I'm going to get it for you. But you got to go sit. You ready? Go sit down, please. I have one way to I got it. You want it in your hand? Let's get you your milk. All right. Delicious. Here you go. Thank you. Good job. Go, 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 go. Go ahead, sit down. Go have your milk, babe. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, um. Hello, hello. Oh, you need help. <laughs> That's as loud as it gets. Uh -oh. Okay, it's okay. Drink your milk. Here you go. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today. Sorry about that. Um, so if you need any help though with Disney things, I'd love to help you plan it. I always post um, my tips and tricks just here and there. And then we I usually have a story posted on some of my social media when we go to Disneyland so y'all can see what we do and um, some of the fun little secrets sometimes I'll share or some of the new food. So uh, let me know. Um, you can send me a message on any of my social media sites or um, ask questions too in the comments. I'm happy to help. So have a wonderful day and I'm excited to share that little meal plan with you soon. So stay tuned. Um, see y'all later. Thank you for joining